Hello folks, this is Ayat Anjha from InspiredRise.com and today I'm going to talk about a topic which a lot of people don't either know about or are not ready to understand about. Digital volume control versus analog volume control. So uh, this doesn't even ring a bell to most of the people but what I mean by this is that for example when you are using your smartphone or any other application you might have a headphone which has a volume control that is an analog volume control you might have a speaker which has a volume control that is an analog volume control present on the hardware itself and then you might be using an application like the music player on your smartphone or vlc media player on your system or itunes on your macbook so what happens is that when you adjust the volume on that one that's the digital volume mostly normal users try to adjust the volume on the digital volume and when they do this what happens is that uh, for example you had some binary number output of the original signal for the sound and you reduce it by minus 35 decibels now you might have a value of around 522.35 something this is the value which is the new binary symbol which is the new binary output which is generated which has to be fed to your earphones or speaker but what happens is that that volume is not a precise whole number so it would round off to the nearest possible value like 523 what happens is that small amount of gap which is only in uh, ppm parts per million but still that much gap also is enough to generate noise in your signal and your sound quality is being reduced by a step down for example if you have a 16 bit dac digital on digital to analog controller then even on that 16 bit dac you are not getting the 16 bit audio quality because you reduced the volume digitally so you did a step down type of conversion on that What's the solution to this? It's very easy. Just put your digital volume, which is the volume of your applications, to 100% at all the times. Reduce your system volume down to like 15%, 10%, 5%. Only that much which you want. If you have speakers connected to your laptop or your desktop system, what you can do is that set your applications to 100% maximum possible volume. Whether they are your gaming applications, music applications, video applications, just set the digital volume to 100% and reduce the volume on the speaker. themselves because the signal to noise ratio on those systems uh, on the, the signal the noise flow on the digital system is considerably higher so noise creeps in very quickly when you reduce the volume while the noise flow on the analog systems is considerably lower so even if you do really high volume adjustments there is very less amount of noise when doing analog volume conversions so this was a very quick and short video about something which most of us guys don't even care about or bother about but i found it while searching for something and i found that this is quite useful and really good advice for audio files so guys this was it for this one in case you like this one don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome crispy videos like this this is ayush ram from inspiredrise.com signing off folks stay inspired guys